Four years ago, I became aware of the horrific treatment of the Afghan people living under the Taliban's strict Islamic law. I heard about a woman, an Afghan-American, whose mission was to help the people of Afghanistan. When I first met Saraya Sadid, she was preparing to go on her 17th aid mission to Afghanistan. Over the past nine years, Saraya has taken on the challenge of trying to care for a nation. Saraya wants to help her people in any way that she can, whether it's by building health clinics, providing education, or delivering emergency aid to refugees. What amazed me is that until September 11th, she had been doing it under the watchful and repressive eyes of the Taliban. In 1993, this whole area was full of Russian tanks that was the leftover of Russian. This is just a uh, remains of what war, actually, from the time that the Russians were here. This is where I was born and raised, and I, I just love this place. And it, it, and it has nothing. You, I mean, you can just see that doesn't have anything. I love this people. I started this organization in 1993, right after, um, about six months after I lost my husband in a massive heart attack. That had a profound effect on me. I just packed and, and, and just left the United States and went to Afghanistan right after his death. And when I entered to Afghanistan after 15 years, it was totally a different country. I was very selfish to think that my pain is the biggest pain. It wasn't when I saw them. So I thought I could actually either come back to the United States and feel sorry for myself and be on Prozac for the rest of my life, or just turn it around and do something about it. Since 1993, Sarai's clinics have helped over a half a million Afghans. Without the clinics, many women and children would have no health care. You used to go with us? Who did you tell her? She's 17. This is the first. Chantum. Yeah, absolutely. Okay, she's, uh, that's exactly what I was saying. She's 25, and she looks like 45, and this is her sixth. Sarai was upset there was no waiting room for the patients and insisted that the Taliban build one. I was constantly amazed at her persistence and courage as an Afghan woman in the face of the Taliban. We flew to Peshawar, Pakistan to go to the Jalazai refugee camp. Over five square miles, it's a makeshift home to some of the 2.6 million Afghans that fled to Pakistan. Saraya's mission was to buy and distribute 1,800 canvas tents for the refugees. It was only 8 a.m. and the heat was suffocating. People were using plastic sheets to protect themselves from the sun. It's an art to find people actually who really deserve to get the uh, humanitarian aids because there's so much corruption going on in the area. So that's why we just have to be extra careful. Seventeen hundred fifty rupees per per tent, right? Okay. 
Well, you give us a discount. You have to give us a discount because, hey, look, this is for refugees. We are not a big organization. This is not the UN. We have little money, and we want to help as many people as we can. So please, OK? 10 rupees less. Or? No, 10 rupees less. No, 10 rupees. OK, I'm going to go ahead and pay 1,650. No, no, no. 1,700, one, 1,700, two, 1,700, three. Deal? Deal.